Good afternoon on this rainy Monday. No, it's not Monday. Come on, I'm good. Yeah, on this rainy Wednesday. Oh, my goodness me. Yes, it's been a busy week here. Uh, we're part moved. Well, mostly moved, but we've still got things all over the place. So that's fun. And of course, um, I'm hopefully towards the end now of, of writing another book. Um, yeah, this one's been a, a bit quick coming, but do you know what? I think I've really enjoyed it and it's worth doing. So, uh, yeah, sleep's overrated, isn't it? <laughs> so anyway, I hope everybody else is okay. Uh, I know that there is a lady had a bit of a problem with the sound. Now, I wondered if anybody else has or if anybody else has had a problem and sorted it. Um, I've, I've checked from this end and there's, there's no problems here. So hopefully... It's, it's just a one-off blip, but uh, we never never know, do you? So, hello there. Hello, everybody. I uh, hope you're okay. And I hope you've written then the date and the tile number, tile number 30. And if you have, we'll, uh, we'll get a move on. I am working quite simple today. I've got pen, pencil, tortillon, and I've actually got uh, three coloured pencils. I've got a red, a yellow and a green. You can pick any, really doesn't really matter what we're going to do it's just that we're going to add a touch over the top uh, if we get that oh, I'm sure we'll get that far it'll be fine okay deep breath then let's turn over oh it's nice to know that people are getting their parcels it really is all right deep breath here we go okay let's start with a pencil now preferably a little bit sharper than mine uh, I don't think either of them are, <laughs> are very sharp, but that's, that's okay. My sharpness in the other place. <laughs> it's going to be my excuse for everything now. It's in, the, it's in the other place. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my four dots in. Here we go. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I'm going to draw from one dot to the next. Do you know what? As I sort of draw from one to the next, I'm going to try and slow it down a little bit. Hi, Susan. Hi, Joan. And I'm going to breathe and I'm going to try and make everything that little bit slower as I work my way round. Just turning the tile. Now, I don't suppose anybody's sat outside today, are they, with their feet up? I suppose it's all indoors. Yeah. It was interesting getting our Benji in this morning with the rain. It's quite, uh, it's quite taking with it. There we go. Okay. So, moving off. Actually, I might even go in and I might add another border. Yeah, let's do that. Just, just to calm things down even more. Okay. All right. I'm sorry if I don't answer some of your. Uh, your, your sort of text or your messages quickly it's just that the the camera and stand are a little bit taller than I am and the chair I normally lean on <laughs> is at the other place so uh, I have to keep sort of getting on tiptoes so I can read what you're saying so I'm not ignoring you honestly okay oh so there we go I've got my border now you might want to just practice first with this one I'm just going to bring in a little bit of paper and I'm going to quickly show you the pattern we're going to use. So I'm going to go in with pen and I'm going to start at a point and I'm going to go up and over, sort of as though I'm doing the teardrop shape, but I'm going to stop a little short and then I'm going to follow it round. Now I know we've done this kind of thing before, but just bear with me. There we go, nice and gentle. I'm not going to go to the point here because then I'm going to take this and I'm going to work my way back up and round. You see, so I've gone inside and then back down and then back up and round and down. Okay. So you can see where that sort of leads, but then we're going to expand, expand, expand it a little bit. And I'm going to come up and out slightly further. Okay. 
And then this time, instead of staying inside, I'm going to sort of break out a little bit and go under and round. Let's see, it's still the same shape, but we've gone a little bit wild. You see how that sort of works? So again, you might want to have a quick practice first. I could come in and do those in the end there. So you see you're getting the two different variations. Okay. So let's go back to our tile then. Here we go. I'm going to work from one of the points. Uh, if you want to work from the centre, that's, that's fine. Or you want to come down back. But I'm going to work at the bottom, working up. So wherever, wherever you want to go from. And I'm going to start with that pattern. So let's just turn it at a slight angle. Oh, hey, Pat. Uh, oh, what's Oh, very cool weather. You've had no water, my word. I think that was terrible yesterday with, uh, with it being so hot. Okay, so you can see then that I've gone around and I've already gone into the border. Oh, oh Julie, don't worry about it. If, you know, it's, there's no right or wrong, but I know we all like things to be just so. But sometimes it might be worth, you know, leaving one and coming back to it a little bit later. And, uh, and trying something else, I think you can focus too much and then you start to uh, learn your mistakes rather than learn from them. So uh, just take it easy with it and you know, come back to it later. Okay, so you can see that I'm doing that pattern. I'm working my way around. See there, I'm just going to go under. So I'm not trying to make it, like I say, it's perfect. It's just going to go and see, how, see where it leads. Okay. So I'm going to do another one here, this time I'm going to go a little bit bigger. Now you can do it the same way if you want to, or you can take it the opposite direction, it really doesn't matter. Okay, and come back to here, I see this time it's going to sort of go underneath isn't it? Yeah. You do know I like to go underneath things, it really good gives it that, uh, that added depth. Okay. So, just taking it round, curving as we go, one after the other. There we are, see, it's all nice and calm now, nothing matters. See, the rain starts to sound really lovely, doesn't it, when you hear it and you're not in it. <laughs> So we've got we've got two there. And I'm going to add a really really little one here. If you haven't got the space, or you think no, I'm going to leave that and see, then that's fine. See, just a little one. And then uh, I'm going to do the same here. Look, so I'm going over that border. So it's, that's why we do them in pencil, just so we can uh, change them a lot a bit later. Okay. So then this way it gets a little bit, you've got to really focus on where you're going with things here because I'm going to start another one. I'm going to pretend it's going underneath here and I'm going to go up. See, I'm going to go quite a little bit further, but this time instead of doing this sort of shape, I'm going to bring it slightly further round, you see? And then back in and bringing it down. I'm not going to go all the way in there, I'm going to stop it here, okay, <laughs> and then I'm going to come back around this one, now again, you know as we said we were going to break it up a little bit, so there it goes, under and round and back in. And then back up here, and then I'm going to come up here, and again, I'm not doing this little one anymore, I'm sort of doing this slightly rounder variation on the end. Okay. And then here it goes underneath, just following it through. Underneath. There we are. 
going to end with just that little one there, see? Okay. And then I'm going to add another sort of this side. Let's turn it around a little bit. So I'm going to start here. Bring it round and then I'm going to go around and add that little sort of ball shape, see, on the end there. And come back on it and around. Okay. It's just going to go underneath there a little bit. Oh, and there we are. We do need the rain, don't we? I'm just glad that my patio <laughs> was mostly finished yesterday, that he's put all the stones down. So yeah, We're waiting for the grass now, which is going to be next week. Me and my husband in the background. <laughs> Yeah, making a noise. Yeah. He frightened me to death then and he sneezed. <laughs> there we go. You can see her now. That's, uh, I've, yeah, but she, sometimes you've got to embrace it, haven't you? And just give it a go. So I said, get a piece of scrap paper and just go for it. I mean, I'm doing it quite slow there, but let's just come back to this piece. And if you just work and go quickly, and you get all sorts of weird shapes, I know, but then you think, okay, this one, this one here, look, it needs a little bit more here, maybe. And then here I need to perhaps come in a bit more. Do you see how you can create shapes from it? See, I, I'm constant, if I go too quick, look at it, I always flatten that bit off. So then you can start to sort of own those skills a little bit. You see there, look, I've gone in too far. So coming back, it's going to be a little bit thinner, whereas here I can actually come in and, and add that. And it's just about that practice. It's the same with this one. It's just go as quick as you can and get it. And then you'll see where your sort of gaps and your, your sort of er errors are. And it, it'll get better from there, honestly. I say, if you know, if you find that this is really tricky, then, then add in another. Add in a different pattern. So I'm just going to add another here. You see there? So I've just done a curved line, really, haven't I? Nothing, nothing special about that curved line. Okay, so from there then, I'm going to add this sort of ball shape on the end. I'm sort of coming round almost like another swirl. And then back in on itself a little more and then come round. And then work your way back down. Okay, I'm going to put that one in there because it seems to sort of want to move further down. All right. And then back up here, up and round. And you know, I think even if they are all a little bit mismatched or different, then, you know, it's all, it's all part of it, isn't it? It's part of the interest. And it's that character that, gives it its unique feel and makes it yours. Yeah. Okay, so you're starting to get quite busy now, but you, see that's where you can start to sort of not worry anymore about those extra little bits and pieces. It needs a little bit down here. Oh, Carol, it's, it's not, honestly, it's exactly the same pattern, but I've just gone in and added more of them. It's one of those that if you're not sure of where this pattern sort of leads, then it's a great one to sort of uh, get to grips with it. See, this sort of goes up here and you can interconnect things. Make your way round as you're going. There we go. So I'm just gonna give you a minute just to have a look at that and just to sort of catch on. Yeah, well, Sue, yeah, turn the tile, whichever way works for you. Honestly, I'm, I'm, I'm working from this side. I mean, I'm left-handed as well. So I know some of you think, what? And, you know, maybe working from the other side coming in might, might help a little bit. 
But uh, yeah, see, look, Vivian loves it. <laughs> yeah, I do quite like this. But I like the last tile. Was it the last tile we did? Yeah, we, you know, slightly more grid like and more structured. Yeah, it was the gardeny type one. So I do try and variate a little bit if I can. Okay, so let's enlarge this a little bit because I want to show you something a little bit different now. So I'm going to so I'm going to start up here, and I'm going to add in a sort of curved shape right there, one side then the other. We've done this a few times, this kind of shape, and it does lend itself to a lot of different patterns. So a bit a bit of petals there, okay. And then I'm going to work at the same point, and I'm going to do another here. See if I can get another petal in there, and another one this side. You see they're a little bit narrower because obviously they're they're either side of this one here, and that's absolutely fine. Oh, we need to see this dream catcher that you've finished then, don't we? That'd be lovely. Mamma's still waiting for hers. It's here, Mum, honest. <laughs> She's obviously not been able to see it. Pass it over. Okay, you can see I've got a sort of five there, and it's sort of quite straight here. I want that. I'm doing that on purpose. And then I'm going to go ahead and put some sort of little petals. Imagine that they're going up and underneath there, under just underneath there. Okay. Oh yeah, we need to see this drink. Do you want me to actually post uh, the one I did on creating craft as well? I can find that later because uh, I, I didn't finish it. But it's sometimes it's nice to see unfinished ones, isn't it? There we go. See, I've put this little bobble on the top there, you see? Okay, and then I'm going to do another. You see it's getting a little bit smaller each time. There we go. Oh, we've done that pattern before as well, haven't we? But in a different format or in a different, uh, a little different light. Okay, so let's put a stem in there. So you see it's going to go underneath. And sort of disappearing amongst this uh, array of uh, sort of leaf type shapes down there. Okay. Oh, hello from Denmark again. Welcome. Oh, it's so nice. Is it sunny over there? Is it raining like in here? We've mostly all got rain in England today. There we go. Okay, let's put another one in. I'm going to put one in up here, I think. And let's go, let's go slightly further, yeah, yeah, let's go slightly further in, here we go. So let's work with that little petal again. Oh, who's that? Oh, Anne-Marie. It's not, honestly, it's just that yours is going to be different. And you know what, the more you do it, the more practice you give, the better you get. My husband's laughing. He's on post duty today, so. <laughs> well, that's, I've given him a job to keep him quiet. Although it's not quite working, is it? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Don't you give, don't anybody give him sympathy, honestly. There we go, so another one. You see how it's sort of moved and slightly curved? I quite like that, it gives it a little bit of a, oh, yeah. Yeah, Lindsay, I will do. I will do some more structured ones. Um, did you find then the uh, the ribbon one? Was it no? The we did like a Celtic -y sort of interconnected one, didn't we on uh, on Monday? Yeah, we did the the structured sort of uh, garden one on Friday, didn't we? Quite nice, aren't those? All right, they're going to need some little um, sort of little, like, almost stem type shapes. You know, the little blob on the end. There you go. Let's have another one in there. Look. There we go. And not there too. Okay. <laughs> I'm not telling him that you're giving him sympathy. He'll just play on it. <laughs> okay, well, I'm going to 
I want sort of here now, coming slightly further in. There we go. You see now you get used to these little shapes and they start to take on a little life of their own. This little bit on the top just looks really quite sweet, doesn't it? in with the stem so you can sort of lose it in with all that section there we don't need to put so many in there we go. okay oh hi Sam oh hello we're good I'm ever so glad it arrives safely that'll be th that will be thanks to John because he has actually done the post this week um, So let's have a look. I'm going to put another one. I feel like I want to sort of swing it this way a little bit. So I want to go over the border. No, Rebel. So let's go in here. There we go. In here. There we go. Now you could put as many or as few of these in as you like. And just working my way. And then here, see, I'm going to put in that slight curve. There we go. There we are. And then let's move outwards with this here. Let's go a little bit wider. And then that way. Okay. All right. You've got me convinced. I will do a more structured one on Friday. How's that? Yeah, it gives us all a chance. So I'm going to put another one in here, just perhaps a little bit smaller. And this is where you, you've got to sort of look at your own tile and think, is this too much? Is this enough? Do I need another one? And you only need to look at this one thing at one time. Don't try and, you know, think of the whole thing. Just think, oh, I need one there. And then, oh, maybe I need one there. There we go. So, okay. Yeah, I'm going to put one here, but I'm going to have it so it's sort of slightly underneath. Okay. You see, that looks like it's so much further in the distance because it's smaller. There we go. Okay. And then it's nothing, is it, if uh, we don't have some zingers in there. So let's go and bring up a line here. And then a dot on the end. Okay, let's go a bit bigger for those of you that don't know what a zinger is. There we go. And I'm going to pour slightly around. And then again, these are so addictive. See how it gets smaller? So almost just dots. We go. Oh, they're so lovely. Oh, Hillary, give it a go, honestly. Give it a go. Sometimes, you know, nobody's going to see it. It's not like you're in a class, is it? And other people are looking. There are so many patterns out there on the internet, I must admit. Um, so, you know, go and, go and have a look, see what's out there. If there's something that you think, oh, it's a little bit too much, then just give it a go, try it. Even if it's on a bit of a scrap piece. You know, you never know. And sometimes, as I say, you might one week find something a bit tricky, but, you know, leave it and come back to it. And then before you know it, yeah, your confidence has grown and you try it again and it's fine. Okay. Yay! <laughs> no zingers. Okay. So, it's quite... quite I say it's growing, as it, isn't it? It's quite sort of... Um, it is organic, really. And it, it started when you think from a blank piece of paper. And even if you think, oh, I can't do this and it's really tricky you've got something down it's a starting point it's when you sit there and think i'm not going to do it at all as 
is where we start to worry because remember it, it's not about the piece of artwork it's about how you feel and how it relaxes you as you do it so don't don't worry at all about whether you you can do it whether it's tricky just sort of sit in the moment and focus on that one single line at one time okay see here i've got sort of a stray line so i've gone ahead and i've just added in some little dots there and you see this end i've got the same sort of thing it just looks a little bit unfinished and i, I wouldn't have known that and at the beginning because you know you, you can't plan ahead and you can't bring in all these things because you don't know so you see there that it's just you know just finished that off a little bit hasn't it and then of course we've got to have some of those bubbles in i do like my bubbles so that's you know some of the coin and this works well you know if you've got an edge that's a little bit sort of tatty let me show you what i mean tatty go a bit closer you see here look hang up where am i yeah you see here this is sort of not quite joined and it looks a little bit if you look really close it can look a little bit messy and it's just let's go in there and just it with a couple of bubbles just all different sizes and just fill in a couple of the gaps and you see how that now suddenly looks more finished and it just you know if you've got some lines that are a little bit wavy or wobbly and you think oh i'm not quite sure about that then these bubbles go in and they they'll make a wonderful sort of finishing touch won't they so if i work up here see i've got one here look that I didn't quite finish the line, but that's okay. Let's go in and a couple of those bubbles. And just work your way around and just focus in on these lines a little bit. And just uh, add in a couple here and there. You don't need to put loads in, just a few. Oh, hi, Deborah. <laughs> so let's just uh, pull out a little bit so you can see where I'm working. Right, I'm just going around, you see where I've got some of these little gaps that I want to neaten up a little bit. And you see how they start quite close together and they then they sort of free up as they're going along. There we go, look. Okay, that's okay. I'm not going to do too many, but let's just sort of concentrate within this section at the minute. There we go, look. Just add in every so often as we go along so maybe a couple there all right yeah i think so take you want yeah we'll start with a dot yeah let's let's do it here let's start with a dot and then draw one a bit bigger only a little bit see how small that one is and then let's move along, do one similar size, and do one a little bit bigger, and then go back small, and then a bit bigger. And it's it's about moving around the space you have. And don't think again about the whole picture, just working a little section at a time. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, sometimes even if you've got to say it out loud, saying right I'm going to do two small and one large and one medium and that's what you do but you don't have to put them all together you can work it round as you're going right. see I've not looked at the whole image I'm just looking at sections at a time okay there we go see it's got a few in so it's sort of filling in this section here isn't it a little bit more okay all right so I want to sort of focus my attention now around the edge with uh, with this frame here. Now we usually we'd go in and we'd draw the frame in, and then we'd shade within it. But let's let's add a pattern within the frame. So where would we sort of start with that? Let's go in with pencil, and let's just break up this frame, just so we get a bit of an idea. Here we go. So let's put a little box in the corner there. 
have to go a bit quick so you can there you go you see that and then I'm going to do the same in the other corner and the other corner as long as you can see them of course so coming back in now again normally I'd split my space um, we can do that but it's quite small so I just want to see make sure that you can see what I'm doing there there we go so there we go split the space and then split again and again okay so you can see I, I do this a lot see if I do this now yeah, maybe yeah I'm gonna split it again because we worry about measuring and is it gonna be equal well, we don't really want it to be equal but on the same part we do because we like it to look that way so this sort of helps just to sort of break it up without measuring, but it gives you a little bit of a comfort blanket to uh, to work it. Oh yes, teen, a bit of colouring, yeah, it will. And I've got some coloured pencils here, so uh, I can add a touch on in a little bit. <coughs> you can see there that um, let's go in and just add in those those lines. See there that I've just sort of broke my frame up, so I've got these little squares now. Okay. Okay. So we can go in now, and we can use a number of different types of pattern. And it really depends what you what you want to do. But I think for now, let, let's go in and, and keep it relatively simple because it's quite a busy design. So this is for you, you structured people out there. <laughs> so let's. Draw in that line with a pen and then I'm going to add in a slightly thicker line. You see I've made it out of a little rectangle and then add in and then a line. Okay, so then I can draw in my next pencil line and do the same again. Add in that sort of block shape and then put a line. Okay, and then back in with that pencil line. It's a bit like a barcode, isn't it? Okay, and a line. Then line where I've drawn in pencil. Slightly, okay. Then a line. Then the line where the pencil is. Slightly thicker. And a line. Then a line. You see where this this pattern sort of forms and it's giving me a uniform sort of approach working my way along and he said that my uh, my grid lines in the first place aren't straight but that's okay okay so this is where you can start to really sort of hone in and take your time because the, the pattern's so repetitive and you've got that little bit of colouring in the middle that you can go in and just enjoy. Now I know um, you might want to go in with a thicker pen to do it but I think sometimes it's just nice isn't it to stick with the one pen and just create that little shape. Okay now here where my zinger is I'm actually going to go over the top of it. I don't really worry about that at all. Continue along the line with this little pattern. Now, if you find that you know you're, you're sort of running away with yourself a little bit and you can't get all your lines in, that's absolutely fine. Just uh, remember that the lines you put in is a grid. It's it's all in pencil, and it's just sort of keeping you uh, in in uniform. I'm going to leave that one. I think. Just fill it a bit. So it's there as a guide. It's not there to sort of be really, you know, dictative of where you've got to go or what you've got to be. See, that's quite a gap there between. Oh, do apologise. I'm wandering off. It's quite a gap between that and the pencil line. So I'm just going to go ahead and and just make those amendments as I go. Yeah, look, see, I'm not going to see much in there at all. I'm going to leave this bit here. And then I'm going to sort of bring it back here. 
I'm not even going to go inside there. I'm, I'm not going to get so bogged down and confused with all those lines inside. I'm just going to work my way around. Okay. There you are, look. Okay, so back over the line. And again with that little bit of colouring. I can stop that bit there. Might get a line in there. And just continue it from here. There we go. Getting that little bit in. And that touch there. And then that slightly over to there. There we go. Just filling in those bits where I can there. Oh, I'm off page again. See, I'm getting all carried away, look, doing my thing. And uh, you can't see what I'm doing. There we go, you see. Right, a little bit above there. And then into this one. And next one. And then I'm about to turn the corner. Okay. Okay, this is really sort of uh, bringing the, you know, framing the whole image really. And it does work really nicely as a, as a frame, this one. And it doesn't matter, you know, if you miss one of the lines or they're a bit thicker than the other, really doesn't matter. It's a... Uh, takes on a life of its own, of course, because you're, you're going underneath the pictures as you're going, then, you know, if you have made a little bit of an, an error in places, then it's fine because you can, you can work it behind those. There we go. Just sort of keeping it going. So no rush at all. Some places I might have done two lines and some I've done one, but that's okay. There we go, just continuing all along the line. There we go, so I've got two in there. Just uh, makes a difference, doesn't it? And so we can keep it plain, but adding a bit of a pattern in there just makes a bit of a difference. So there you go, I'm off page again. Look, see, I was getting all carried away doing my own thing and I forgot that you were watching. Maybe you'd, uh, you weren't watching, maybe you were busy doing your own thing there for a while too. It's okay. All right, let's have a look at that. Okay. So I think now I will, I'll go ahead and I'll just draw in the uh, border lines. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do anything there because I've put my dots, so I'm gonna sort of have that as a final point. Just turn in as I go. Come my way round, do a little bit there, look. Turn in again. You see it? Doing it this way, it means I can stop sort of midway and not try and have to pick the line up without making a bit of a mess. Oh, thank you, Julie. Don't think my husband thinks that. <laughs> not all the time, anyway. <laughs> there you are, look. And then, of course, same thing on the inside. See, I'm going to keep that. I like that, how it's grown a little bit. Let's see. There you are, just fill in those edges. what it's all about. I'm hoping, but you know, one hopes that when you've done your, your tile and you've had a session that you, you do come out of it feeling like you've had a nap. Not literally, maybe, but you do feel like you're, you know, a little bit more refreshed and focused on the job at hand. So there we go. Just fill those bits in there. 
Let's have a look where we're at so far. Okay, so that's where it started. You see now we've got this lovely little frame in there. So, pens down, and I'm gonna go in now with a pencil. Let, let's sort out this border first. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some of that pencil on the outside edge and the inside edge. So we'll show you a little bit closer there. There you go, outside edge, see? And inside edge. And I'm gonna go all the way around the outside, just doing that. So you can see there, look, I've got a little bit here. I'm gonna stop where the bubbles are. And then I'm gonna add here, and then on those edges. You see, and just down here, you see, I'm, I'm, I am pressing on, there's a quite a bit of pressure there, I want it quite heavy. So you can see where it's sort of heading, let's go back out a bit, there we go. So I'm working my way outside and inside edge. Okay. Alright, Tortion. That's all I'm going to do, and again I'll go a bit bigger so you can see it. I'm just going to ever so gently just smooth it off. I don't want any of that graphite going into the middle. I want sort of um, a highlight straight through the centre. Okay. You see, as I'm just, sometimes I am giving it a bit of a swirl in motion, but others I'm just using that sort of sweeping across just to give it a softer edge. Nice and gentle. Turning my tile as I go. Just softening up that edge. It's almost like it, it sort of fades it, doesn't it? And it uh, gives it a bit more of a, a dimensional sort of approach. Okay. Now I know originally I, I didn't particularly have my white pencil out. Do I have a white pencil with me? Oh, yes, I do. All right, good job I've got my emergency kits. All right, so I'm gonna go straight through the center and just add in that white pencil. And if you haven't got one, it's fine. You could use a white gel pen or you can just leave it with the, the white of the paper showing through just sort of gives it that little finishing touch along the way. So I'm not going to smooth it with the tortillon, I'm just going to leave it with the line. So you can see there where now with the border, it looks a little bit rounded. This chalk pencil is just divine, works really well. Okay. So that's our border done. So let's turn our, our hands now to um, the pencil for the inside sections. So with these little bits, I'm just gonna add a touch of pencil, you know, just sort of on the insides there, you see, just going up. Let's go a bit bigger so you can see what I've done there. Uh, oh, Kathy, um, Possibly not the emergency kits now, but I have got um, a plan for making sure that everybody can still get hold of all the stencils and the things that we've been using. Um, I don't want to sort of tell you too much yet because it will spoil the surprise. So you see that? Look, I've just added little, little sort of hints of pencil just up those sort of stems. You see? The either, sort of on either side, just giving it a hint. Okay. There we go, just a little bit. And then, of course, that, that famous little smirk on the on those shapes there. So a little bit more behind because that one's underneath there. You are. Okay. All right, let's just smooth these out then. So what I'm going to do is again, I'm just going to follow the curves 
and I'm just going to soften those pencil lines. So I'm not particularly trying to shade, I'm just adding some darkness down this sort of uh, bottom section. You see, we're just pulling it up just enough to smooth it out. But Denise, it's, um, it's a, a B pencil, so you can use a HB. Um, It'll work pretty well, or anything, anything more than a B, maybe a 2B, but then you start, if you're not careful, getting it, it's a bit too smudgy. If you go down the sort of the mechanical pencil lines, you'll find that it won't smudge, or it'll try not to smudge at all. Uh, it's a case, I think, you've, you've got to get a pencil out and try it, and uh, see how you feel with it. Some do work better than others, and it, of course it depends on the, the paper. Yeah, we're working on <laughs> what you're working on. Yeah, you probably it is really, isn't it? You know, I don't always. Well, I have. I do plan obviously for these sessions because I have to know when I'm going, um, and I do like to sort of have a bit of an objective in mind as to what I'm going to teach you, even if it doesn't feel like a lesson. Um, but yeah, as a general rule, you know, you don't need to worry particularly about the, the picture it's forming. It sort of comes as you sort of move along. And if it doesn't, it's abstract. That's absolutely fine too. All right, so here we go so far. It's not looking too bad at all, that. Okay. So let's address the flower sort of shapes. So coming on in a little bit more. I'm going to go either side of my little shape there. And then I'm going to focus just on the tips there. Okay. Oh, that's brilliant. There we go. And I'm just going to sort of pull it up a little bit, you see? Just dragging that pencil up the petal. See, that needs a little bit more. There you go. If you find it's not moving as much as you like, just sort of transfer to swirls and push it a little bit. Sort of encourage it. I'm not actually going to touch this bit. I'm just going to use the, the sort of bottom sections. So again, let's add in some pencil there. Working in each section. And just the edges. You see, you know, I, I didn't really smooth these sections because it's, it's very little to smooth and we want that little white line up the center and of course you could go back in with the white pencil and just add that in but i've got i've got other plans as well for that so just smoothing off those edges just pulling it up in towards those petals see here very very little you're not going to see much Just pulling it in. There we go. A couple more here. There we go. So if it's really small, just sort of work on one side rather than both. You'll find then you you're not to cover it totally. There we go. Just adding on those little ends and just a little bit on there. Just little bits. See, I've got quite an exposed stem there. I'm just going to add a little bit on that as well. There we are. Okay. You see, sometimes shading, it, this is where it, it, it brings it to life. But if you don't know where to put it, it can be a little bit frightening because you don't want to spoil your, uh, your image. So I, I'd sort of say this, start lightly because then you could always rub it out and then... You know, add a little bit more depth once you're happy with where it is. Uh, and not to worry, don't worry about where the light and the dark comes. That's, that's all irrelevant with this particular art form. You don't need to worry about that. So you can see here that we've got the shadows on, but I did actually mention at the beginning of the session that I've got three colours. So there we are, I've got a red, a yellow and a green again. Doesn't matter what colour you're going to work with. So I want to just go in and I want to define these flowers a little bit. So I'm going to go in firstly with my 
yellow and I'm going to add some just over the top of that shape there. You see I've gone over the dark and the light and then just a little bit around that top section there. Okay. With my green, I'm just going to add just sort of almost a line of it just over the top of the yellow there just to sort of give it a little bit of depth. Okay. All right. Then my red pencil. And I'm going to go over the top of the shaded section of the petals, just sort of on the ends, you see? Now I'm not really colouring in and I'm not trying to shade here because I've already done that with the, the pencil underneath. So I'm just adding the colour over the top. You see, it doesn't really need much. But if I show you that one now compared to the others, you see? It's just got that little bit of warmth, hasn't it? So let's just do that one here. I'm going to add into the yellow across it and just over, over spilling almost there. And then a little bit of the green just in that, that section there. And then the red just on the edges or the little tips of those petals. And again, I'm, I'm not trying to shade it. I'm just adding the colour over the top the shading's already been done. Okay. Alright, so let's move on to this one here. So quite little, but I'm still going to follow the same principle, really, and just add in. You notice I always start with sharp pencils. Oh! Because, you know, you're, you're working quite small here, and because we're not putting too much... If you need to add more pencil, then obviously use, use it on its side rather than on its tip. There we go, some more flowers here. And you might choose to sort of go in and do all the yellow, then do the green, then the red. Or you might decide that you want to do each flower individually and give it all the care and attention it needs. Well, that's entirely up to you, whichever way you want to do it. But, uh, just going in there and uh, yeah, add in the red now. It just gives it that little bit of something. And of course, you know, this is... Imagine you've got a, uh, a photograph and you want to do a border. This is a really nice one to do, isn't it? Just to go round the photograph. Or if you're doing a card, you know, put, you know like a get well card, that would be lovely, wouldn't it? Just to add that in. So my green... You see where I've added the shadow on these sections here? I'm just going to go in and very gently, you see in curls, let's go a bit bigger now so you can see that, just adding that hint of colour. So ever so lightly, I can just sort of build a bit up, following the line. But again, I'm not colouring, I'm just adding that green. There we go. A little bit in there, look. Bit there, and a couple more down here. Look, so again, see where I've, where that shadow is, or where that light and dark. I'm just putting the green really over the darkest bit. There we go. Maybe you know where you've got some of the dark areas. Just go ahead and add a bit of that green. So I'm not overdoing it, I don't want it to be totally covered. Let's have a look at that. So there we go, see it, go, it goes from being slightly sort of, well monochrome of course, but it just gives it a bit of life. I am going to use my red and I'm just going to go around the inner edge of the frame. Just putting a line See, I'm going again back over the dark pencil. Just to sort of give it that little bit of warmth. Oh, thank you. Do you know what? We're all going to have like nice weedy gardens, aren't we? Perhaps, perhaps it's come about because it's raining today, you know, and it makes gardens grow and things. 
You see, I'm back to pencil now, just as a final. I'm just going to add a little bit on the inside, you see? You see, I'll be really, really light touch. Just the insides there. Nothing much, just a little bit. And then I'm just going to smooth it outwards into the picture. Okay. See how Kathy it does, doesn't it? Just that little bit. And I've hardly used any colour at all. I mean, you could go in, you know, with a gel pen. You could do that. I mean, imagine doing this. You know, so the leaves and using like the blues and greens, mixing those fine liner chameleons. So you don't really know when your colour's going to change. And that will give it quite a different feel as well. There's so many possibilities, isn't there? And you, it's just having that first idea to sort of give it a go. All right, let's have a look at that. Oh, thank you, Angela. Okay. So I'm actually not going to put any more colour on that and I'm not going to put any more shadows. The only thing I'm going to do now is put my signature in there and it just see where this is sort of popping out here. Just going to add it in there. Just take that all around that little bubble there just to finish it off. Um, just a, a quick point to show you. I did have, oh, there it is. I have done one of these tiles on a round tile. I just wondered if you'd like to see that. It's only a sort of a sketchy one, so it's not up to you know the level here because it wouldn't take as long we're doing. But you can see here where I've done it in a, a round and it just just looks so sweet, doesn't it? And it would just look lovely. You know, you could even get your die dies out and use a die around the edge, you know, like a, a foil or a lacy die would look absolutely beautiful around there. But uh, this is the one we've done today. It just shows that you could work it in corners or you could work it on squares and, you know, lots of different shapes if, if, if you were you wanted to. So whatever you've got to work with. Uh, and imagine, of course, you know, using a coloured background it would give it a different feel again. So many things, so many possibilities. So I know that some of you do struggle with this pattern and, and getting this organic sort of swirl going. Um, I challenge you to have a go and try it. Do a few practices, get a piece of scrap paper and just sort of work them through really quickly and look at where you're going, where you think you're going wrong. Is it the curve? Is it coming back on itself? Try it out and, and give it a go. Because if you, if you shy away from it forever, you're never going to sort of get into the hang of it. And although the structured patterns are great, on their own, they can be a little bit too structured. And you want to sort of free up a little bit where you can. So just, just have a go. And, and as I promised, for the next one, I will do a structured grid format type of pattern. So, uh, yeah, we'll be using a square tile on Friday. I'm not quite sure whether it's going to be a coloured one or not, so just be prepared and we'll work with, within, within those realms and we'll get you, uh, you structured people happy. <laughs> okay, so I hope that's been nice. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've had a nice, nice peaceful hour out. So, uh, yeah, post what you've done. Let me see uh, some of the patterns and the things that you're coming up with. And by all means, enjoy. And I'm hoping, I'm hoping to have a finished book on Friday that I can sort of give you a bit of a flick through and let you see where I'm going with it. But uh, at the, the, the moment, it's it's looking really good. I've, I've just got to finish it. It's it's almost there. I've just got to finish it. So, yeah, if I've ignored you on Facebook or not messaged you back, it, uh, please don't take it personally. I've just, I've just been busy. But um, I will get to you, I promise. So, enjoy. Uh, don't worry too much about the rain. We do need it. But yeah, go and put the kettle on, have a cuppa, take a deep breath now and, uh, and just enjoy what you've done. So, okay, everybody uh, have a great week and I will speak to you all being well again on Friday at two o'clock. So take care till then. See you soon. Bye.